Sawadi Krab. The story of Maha Chanok, translated by King Rama IX, was first published in 1997, 30 years after the king had listened to a sermon by the Reverend Somjed Pra Mahavira Vongs about King Maha Chanok's visit to the royal park in the city of Mithila. King Rama IX decided to translate the story of Maha Chanok in the Holy Tripitaka, and his translation and modernization of the story has now sold over 400,000 copies. I was given this translation before Christmas by a wonderful chair of governors, Kung Yen Kasama, and I enjoyed reading the story during the holiday whilst I was back in the UK. In the story, Maha Chanok's son, once Maha Chanok has died, squabble bitterly over the throne, and Prince Pola Chanok kills King Aratacha Chanok. Aratar Chanok's wife flees and eventually gives birth to the great Buddha, who is determined to regain his rightful throne. On a long sea journey to Suvarnabhumi to acquire an enormous wealth to help him win back the throne, Buddha's ship encounters a ferocious storm and he and his crew are all assumed dead at sea. Buddha, however, has survived and for seven days he swims and survives at sea until eventually, found by a goddess named Mani Makala, who is charged with looking after all virtuous creatures who undertook good deeds. When the goddess finds the great being, they start exchanging short orations and poetry to each other. Hark, O goddess, anyone who knows for sure that his activities will not meet with success can be deemed to be doomed. If that one desists from perseverance in that way, he will surely receive the consequences of his indolence. Hark, O goddess, some people in this world strive to get results for their endeavors, even if they don't succeed. Hark, O oh goddess, you do see clearly the results of actions, don't you? All my shipmates have drowned in the ocean. I alone am still swimming and have seen you hovering near me. I am going to endeavor further to the utmost of my ability. I am going to strive and persevere like a man should to reach the shores of the ocean. Having listened to Buddha, the goddess replies, Anyone who is so full of righteous patience will never founder in the vast ocean that has no bounds. With this admirable perseverance, you'll be able to go wherever you wish. With this admirable perseverance, you will be able to go wherever you wish. What in today's educational parlance we would call adopting a growth mindset. Don't give up, don't define yourself and accept that you cannot change or improve and most importantly of all, keep going and persevere. One of our six rugby learner profiles is resilience, the strength to persevere, to bounce back and not to accept failure, but to deal with it, learn from it and come back even more determined to succeed. I'll finish with a paraphrase of the final sentence of the preface to King Ramanine's beautiful translation. May all of us be blessed with pure perseverance, sharp wisdom, and complete physical health. Kopkum Krab.